Hey guys, welcome back to Rule the World. Last episode, we finished the castle. It's all looking pretty swish, as you can see, but there's a lot of detail still to go in on it. Got to make some furniture, got to put some floors in, because, oh my God, the windows are just like looking through into the void. I'm lucky there's no monsters that have spawned in there yet. But uh, yeah, the whole place is looking pretty good, pretty swish. We don't have a bed in there yet, so we are still stuck with sleeping in the inn. But, uh, but it's still pretty cool. Now, before we get cracking today, I'm going to show you something that the princess has built over at the Britannia setup. It's a really cool new automated system. So let's go check it out. Ah, uh, another morning. Now, actually thinking about it, I might as well set, uh, set one of my waypoints to the tavern. Actually, one of the things I was thinking about is, is because we've got lots of NPCs around now that don't know what they're doing, we should pack them up and, uh, and take them all back to the tavern and I can fly around and just cherry pick them out from the sky. All I need to do is find their name plates. Now I know Sips has been floating around the castle. So where is he? Oh no, wait, hang on a sec. We had that food emergency before. So they've probably all gone back to the town hall. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, fill up my pack with cooked fish and, uh, and put loads inside the, um, let's just put this junk in here and put loads of that cooked fish inside the town hall and then I'm also going to oh, get rid of that Geisel and then I'm also going to grab up the NPCs while I'm there so let's just get a load of oh, what kind of food are we going to give them let's give them cooked fish I like cooked fish and I reckon a nice a nice few stacks of cod will do these guys pretty good oh yeah here they are look at these hungry hungry hippos well let's just grab Lewis wait that's, that's, that's my bag of holding so we're going to Oh, I right clicked on him and it gave him the food. It's a bit weird, but he's not going anywhere because he hasn't got a job. So we'll repack Lewis. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of some of this food. And now let's repack Sips. There we go. Got Sips as well. Now we just need Parv and Simon. There's Parv. There we go. And now let's see if we can find Simon. Now I think, I think if memory serves, Simon was, uh, Simon was in the, in the, yes, right, he's in the sheep pen. And he's still got his earphones, he can't hear a thing. Okay, there we go. Should we take his earmuffs? No, let's, let's just leave them, leave them on him. All right, cool, so we've got all the NPCs, and now let's go and put some food inside the town hall so these guys can get back to work. Now we need to work out why there isn't any food in here. I think it's supposed to be Martin that comes around to put food into this town hall. So let's see what his problem is. There's Vivian, the priest, making sure everybody's rezzed up and good to go. So where are you, Martin, and what is your major malfunction? Well, you know what, guys? I've looked I've looked far and wide, high and low. I can't find Martin. It's a case of the missing little wood. If you've seen him, make sure you... Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll have to make posters, like, for milk cartons and stuff. Have you seen, have you seen this man missing? Martin Littlewood, <laughs> last seen picking up, uh, picking up wheat from the wheat farm. Yeah, he's supposed to drop off food. So he's not doing his job, which means there isn't food getting to the NPCs, which means no one's doing their job. Maybe he's in the farmhouse. Is he in here? No, I could be anywhere. Okay, never mind. I'll let you guys help me solve this mystery. Tell me if you see him. And, uh, and if we do see him while we're running around doing stuff, we'll fix him and put him back where he belongs. But for the time being, I'm going to show you guys something that the princess prepared while she was away. Oh, and it looks like it's about to tick over, right? This is a far, a flower farm. These are mystical flowers, and, uh, and this is a farm that gathers them up. What happens is that hovering hourglass ticks down, activates a redstone mana spreader that shoots a beam. The beam hits the drum of the wild, and the drum of the wild is a tool from Britannia that breaks all flowers nearby, and you can watch it happen here. It's about to tick over. There goes the beam, and boom! All the flowers get knocked into like that, into the, onto the floor. And then the hopper hawk over here picks them up, puts them in this diamond chest and whoa, holy mama, we've got a lot, a lot, a lot of flowers in here. Now obviously needs uh, mana from this mana pool and uh, the jaded amaranthus is what grows the mystical flowers. I wonder where it gets the mana from though. I guess you have to put it in here manually. Or, oh no, here's a, here's a spreader that's shooting it from the hydro, hydrogeneas. That's pretty cool, that's a pretty cool setup. Right, well let's head over to the inn and drop off these NPCs. Because I mean, they're not doing anything over at the town hall, they got no job. Uh, so we might as well just put them in here so they can have fun and get drunk. I think the champions are still in here as well. They still haven't finished party. Oh. 
Houndmaster Hob? Who's this guy? Hello? Oh, he's getting drunk, I see. How's, how's it going? Do you mind if I uh, ask who you are? I'm... I'm Stjin. Uh, and uh, this is kind of... Well, I suppose it is kind of my tavern. I... 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 I, I guess. I collect the taxes on it. Who are you? What, what are you doing here? What... What's going on? Oh, his name's Hob. Hob, mate. And he just wanted a drink. Well... Tell you what. I could use a drink as well. How about I pull up a pew? And I'm just going to borrow Chloe's pint because I don't think she's going to finish it. There we go. <laughs> Lovely stuff. And uh, let's just let's just sit down. Tell me about your day. Can I actually sit down? I'm supposed to... Do I right click? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll just move a bit closer, actually. Oh, this is a bit, <laughs> this is a bit close, actually. I'm going to just sit back over here, actually. So what's, what's up? Why are you drowning your sorrows, friend? They took all my puppies. Your puppies? Every last one of my dogs? Oh, I guess he's a handmaster. Handmaster Hob. Um, who? Who took your dogs? Those black guards. Those evil sons of the people that moved in after Blackwood left. Oh, oh no. Did you, did you I suppose, so you used to live at Blackwood's castle and look after his dogs. But now that Blackwood's gone missing, uh... I guess no one's there to do that, and some black guards have moved in. Well, I, I, I got 99 problems, uh, but Blackwood's castle ain't one. But maybe I can help you out, Handmaster Hob. Are you homeless now, then? What, what, are you, what are you up to? Used to be his handmaster. Can't say I knew the Lord, but I had my dogs. Oh, good. So you're not evil. That t that's one checkbox ticked. Um, how, about, how about I help you out, Mr. Hob? Uh, I could use some dogs over here at the kingdom of Shinterfell. I, as you see, I see you found your way here. Uh, you must like the place, right? I mean, if you're drinking here, maybe you don't, I don't know. But I've got a proposition for you. If you help me tame some dogs and bring them back to Shinterfell, I'll build some kennels for you and even a little house, and you can live here in Shinterfell and be my hound master. What do you say? Well, hounds, you say? My own kennel? Yes, although there is a bit of a sticking point. Uh, I do need you to look after horses as well. We've got some horses and no one's no one's bothering with them. Uh, so I need, need them to be fed and stuff. And I've also got other animals around that might need a, a look in every now and again. But they're just meat, basically, like sheep and, and cows. What do you, what do you say? Is it, is it still okay with that? Good with all animals. Dogs are my favourite, but I can handle anything. All right, sweet. Well, I guess you must know about dogs then. You must know a thing or two. Uh, let me put down this beer. There we go. And, uh, and we'll, let's 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 get out there and find some dogs. Now, what do you need to tame dogs? Uh, are you going to come with me? Actually, I suppose I can fly and you can't. So maybe I'll have to go and collect the dogs. But then uh, you can come back and uh, and I'll come back and bring the dogs to you. And you can help me uh, help me um, train them, I suppose. Or we could just put them in kennels and you can look after them. Well, um, actually, uh, what I could do, I could give you some building tools. And do you know how to build a kennel? If I give you some wood and some stone and some logs? Sweet. All right. Well, I'll show you to the warehouse and you can dip in. In fact, I think the warehouse is locked to me, actually. I don't think Trot will let you take anything. So oh, it's over this way. Uh, actually, let's have a sleep because the sun's setting. So uh, let's head back into the inn and uh, and skip the night. Is, there, is, is that Martin down there and under the? Oh, it's a Ross. He's just stuck there under the bridge. All right, no no sign of Martin yet. Oh, by the way, have you seen uh, a guy wandering around the village? Might be a bit lost. His name's uh, in the Littlewood. Have you seen him anywhere? Do you know Do you know about where he where he might be? No, can't say that I have. But I was looking for ale, not men. <laughs> right, good, good to know. Ah, oh, another refreshing night on the Kingdom of Shinterfell. All right, well, I'm going to show you to where the wood and the logs and, and the and the stone is. And if I show you an area where we can build like a kennel, and I'll go and collect the dogs, um, you can kind of show me how to show me how to kind of work them, I suppose. I've had a dog before. His name was Jake, um, but he's he's back on my farm, and uh, and that's that feels like so many it's long ago now. But I think it actually was really really long ago. I miss him. I'm a cat. All right, right. Here's the storehouse. Let's get you some wood, and uh, and some and some and some stone and stuff. 
Right, so let's see. He could have some basalt. That might be a good tool to make kennels out of. There's some oak wood. That's perfect for it. Cats are handy little critters. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are for sure because um, Enderman... Uh, not Enderman, sorry. Uh, what's the face? Creepers are scared of them. It's, it's very true. Very true. Very wise. Good to keep around. Good to have around. So we've got some wood, some basalt, and I'll get some cobble from upstairs, actually. Wow, 80,000 80, cobblestone. It's a good thing I created a separate uh, separate warehouse for this. What else is in here? There's a bunch of junk, actually. Uh, maybe he could use some wool. Uh, probably not. I'll give him some gravel, though, as well. That'll come in handy. And maybe some marble cobblestone. That looks kind of cool, too. All right. You have to make your own stairs and stuff. And uh, where, where, where have you gone, Hob? Here you go. I'll just chuck some stuff at you. There you go. Oh, yeah, the castle. It's, it's just, just been built. It's just finished, actually. What do you think? Is it nice? Do you approve? It's, it's not as big as Blackwood's castle, but um, it's more of a castle house, really, than, a, than an actual entire citadel. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. All right, well, I'm going to head out into the wild, see if I can find uh, some wolves. Have you got any tips about where I, sh where I could find some dogs? They tend to like the tundra and keep an eye out for sheep. The dogs keep an eye out for sheep, or should I? Because are they near sheep? If wolves are near sheep, they go wild, can't be tamed. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, of course. I guess they see red and they just want to eat the sheep. All right, cool. Well, they'll go after me as well. Oh, oh, this is... I didn't know that, actually. That's good to know. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go over to the, um, to the dungeon chest that we've got over here at the Britannia setup. Oh, looks like it's run out of mana. We need to configure the mana spreaders to shoot over here again. But if you see some wool about, you might have wolves nearby. All right, that's good to know. I'm going to take some safari nets, because I think that's probably the best way to catch these things. There's four. We've got five, six, seven nets. I reckon seven dogs is about a good place to start. It's a lot of dogs. Actually, well, technically, you only need two dogs. Can you breed dogs, Mr. Hobb? Sorry, you're very far away, but I'm sure you can hear me. Can you breed dogs, Mr. Hob? Because I know you can breed other animals. Sure can, neighbor. Bone to tame, meat to breed. Okay, we won't breed any out in the field. We'll bring them back before we do that. Uh, if I show you where you could build your kennels, actually, there's a nice spot over here behind the cows that, that's just the perfect size for, for some kennels. Um, where have you gone? can't see him. Should be around here somewhere. There's, there's me. Oh, he's there. <laughs> awesome. Right, well, I'll leave you to this. I'm going to go and see if I can find some tundra. So I'll be right back. Oh, no, I should have filled up my mana ring before I left, but it looks like I have plenty of mana. The bar is down there just next to XP, and it's, 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 about, it's just over 50% full. So I should be fine. Now, let's see if I can find myself a tundra. It's so much easier flying around to do these kinds of things. I might just find wolves anyway. They're, they're, I don't think they're always in tundra. Maybe they are. But uh, if I see any at all just flying around, I'll, uh, I'll grab them up as soon as I can. Oh, it's one of these. Ah, oh, now, these are, these are end kind of end portal zones. And what you can do is you can actually use these things to go to the end if you want to. What's inside these chests? Any loot? Uh, nothing that cool. Might have been raided already. Some used up bows. Broken spawners. I uh, might take them just in case I can use them. But the rest is junk. Oh, what's this? Oh. It's somebody's garden. And there's bees here. And is this a giant airship? Air balloons. Oh, weird. What's in this chest? Oh, pretty much just junk. Oh, well. Oh, whoa. Hang on a sec. Where, where am I? I'm pretty close to where I live. Who's moved in here? Uh-oh. What is that thing? It's a naga? Can't get me, though. I'm too high up. But it looks like they've got some machines here. Is that forestry machines? Yeah, carpenter, a centrifuge. Oh no, it looks like somebody's made a big mistake and they're going into bees. A culture vat, what are they for? Oh wait, fossils and archeology, span of course. Oh, I'm gonna leave, the, leave them to it because I don't wanna be caught 
going through their stuff. Oh, what's... Hang on a sec. Warning, poachers ahead. I remember this place. Powerful weapon. Oh my god. Okay, I, I probably shouldn't touch this stuff because it's a bit too technical for me. And, uh... Wow, so this is... This is... I remember this place. This is where I went to, uh, to take out some poachers. Ah, oh, looks like I did the job on them. It's only Rudolph left here. <laughs> the reindeer. All right, well, I'm going to gather up some of these things because this is pretty useful decoration. I've got a reindeer. Christmas is coming up as well, so I can decorate the place for Christmas. Some racks. And I think I'll grab up these barrels of fruit too. Wait, what's this on the map? Baby tiger? That's not a baby tiger. It's an ocelot. What is this? It's a wild deer. There's a scared dog. A dog? Did somebody say a dog? He's... Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, boy, how's it going? He hasn't got anything around him. That means he can be tamed, but he is scared. All right. Don't worry, guy. I'll help you out. I've got a bone here. With your name on it. Do you like bones, little dog? Where's he, where's he gone? There we go. I've got him! He's mine. All right, let's tame a scared dog. Safari net. Okay, safari net. Single use. Wolf. Name. Scared dog. All right, sweet. Right, now let's get back on the hunt, see if we can find some tundra. Uh-oh. What's this? Who are you? Go away. I didn't bring a weapon. It's a selkie. It's got a fishing rod. It's killing me with a fishing rod. Luckily, my pickaxe does like 20 damage. Oh my god. What did she drop? She dropped ice berries. Oh, Grimoire of Gaia. What kind of beasts and scary monsters does it spawn in an ice plains biome? Well, it looks like we're about to find out. Oh my god, what is that? It's a yeti. Is it hostile? What do you think? <laughs> That's right, get out of here. Luckily, uh, my armor is super boosted, so I shouldn't have too much trouble against these, even with my pickaxe. But it does look like my ring of flying has run out. I've got my teleport stick, so I can get back to base. But I mustn't forget what I'm here for, which is to find some wolves. So let's just keep looking. Get out of here, Yeti. Oh, it's getting late. Oh, God. Another Selkie. But it looks like there's a wolf over there. So let's go and... Oh, oh my God. Those things have loads of health. Why does stuff that spawns like so quickly early in the game have so much health? Right, it's night time. And this looks like a node right here on this white patch of snow. It's definitely a node. All right, let's see if we can tame this little dude. Get back to base. Here you go, boy. It's a bone. That's right, you like bones sitting false. Let's see if we can change that. Now, we need a safari net. This one's got a dog in it. So we need... Right, so the empty ones don't have a label. So let's put you in here. ha boy. There we go. Got ourselves a second wolf. Now, I've run out of flying. Got no mana left. My ring is dry. And it's nighttime, which is super scary. But it doesn't matter because I can use the eye of the flugel. Teleport all the way back to the storehouse, which is Libra. So let's do it. All right. So I'm back home. And now it's time to see what old Houndmaster Hob has built for kennels. Oh, and i got to say, he's done a pretty good job of these. Oh, wow, look, he even found some trodden dirt. Oh, and he's used hay bales for the floor. That's great. Hey, Houndmaster, how's it going? This place looks great. You did a great job here. Oh, well, I, I'm sure they'll definitely feel comfortable here. Now, I've got two wolves, so if I put them down, they might run... Actually, they shouldn't run away, because I've tamed them both. I used, uh, I used bones. I don't have any meat, but let's try breeding them. To, uh, to make a mini wolf. Here we go. Oh, there. Uh, I'll just make him s sit still. Sit, boy. There we go. And where's the other one gone? Where's he gone? Come here, you. Oh man, these are these are troublesome wolves. Come over here, this way. Not through the, not through there. Man, why are dogs so silly? Uh, where's he gone? Wolf, wolf thing. Where's the wolf now? Is he? Where, where is? Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? <laughs> Behind me? What? Where? Where? Oh, there he is. He's on the roof. All right. Come here, you. Oh, he's a scared... He, this is the scared dog, obviously. Right, I see. Come here. I'm going to push you this way. Oh. I found him in a poacher's camp. I guess they were trying to take his 
take his pelts or something. If I come over here, are you going to follow me over here? Wolf guy? No, he's run off. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to find some meat. Does chicken work? No, they probably don't like chicken. I'm going to get some meat. Is it raw meat? How do I breed dogs, Houndmaster Hob? I'm a bit of a noob at this. Any meat will do. Okay, good. Well, I'll get some raw steak. Doves, dog, dogs love raw steak. So, oh, hello, scared dog. Let's bring him back. Come over here. Come over here, pal. I'm going to introduce you to your new mate. Now, luckily, uh, all animals in Minecraft are asexual, which means they can have sex with any other animal, which is great news for us. Okay, sit down. I'm going to make you sit down if I can. There we go. And now, if I give you a meat, does this work? I think they, may, they might have to be standing up. There's a meat. There's a meat. Do you like meat? Do you have to throw them at you? Do you like meat? Is that going to work? Here's some meat. Whoa! Okay, it worked! And there's a little puppy! Oh, it's a baby wolf! No, wait! He's, he's getting away! He's getting... Where is he going? Come back! I don't think he's tame. He's not tame, but he's cute as hell. Or is he tame? He's got a collar. Oh, yeah, he is tame. Come here. Come here, you. Where's he gone? Oh, his parents are trying to catch him. Okay, so he will sit still. Oh, my God. He's hard to click on. They take after the parents. All right, Houndmaster Hobble. I better go because it's getting late. But I see you've done a fine job on the stables. If I leave these dogs with you, do you want to breed us up like a few, a few hounds so that we can go on like a hunt or something? Uh, and then maybe we can get to building you a house afterwards. But until then, you're welcome to, uh, to stay at the inn. There's plenty of beds there. Also, there's a few people around. You've got, you got like Berim. I think you get on great with Berim. Also, the princess. You probably might not get on so well with her. But she's around. If you see her, be sure to wave. And I'll be back soon and we can get on building you a house. How does that sound? Glad to have some dogs again. All right. And don't forget to feed the horses because they're going to be hungry too. Because I haven't touched them for months. Not sure on those chocobo things. Honestly, turn them into meat. I hate chocobos. Get them out of here. If you want to get rid of them... They're, they're more like a pest. They're like, isn't it? A, it this isn't a chicken. No, <laughs> no, it's not, is it? He's he's gotten in there and, and somehow he smuggled his way in with the chickens and no one's noticed. But I tell you what, I see you, I see you, Chocobo. Feel free, Handmaster, to to kill all the Chocobos because they are a waste of space. I hate them. I hate them. All right, guys. Well, this episode, we made a new friend in Houndmaster Hob. He's going to help us run the dogs, take care of all the chocobo pests that we have around the kingdom because they're becoming a plague. They're worse than rats. We don't have any rats. We have chocobos. And he's going to look after the horses as well. Maybe we'll build him a house soon as well, so that'd be cool. But also, we've got to get some furniture in my castle. And we can't forget that we have to rescue uh, Eldrafin, the princess, or rather put her back on her throne back in Alfheim. So until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.